an editor is a curator in a lot of ways. And I like to think of it as curating a collection, a collection of scientific papers which help drive forward the uh, scientific knowledge in uh, a particular area. I see the editor role as being responsible for everything that gets published in the journal. But I think on a broader angle, being responsible for curating new knowledge in perpetuity in my field of research. Many of the uh, mainstream journals have associate editors as well as senior editors and the papers are assigned from the editor-in-chief to the senior editor then to associate editors and then on to reviewers. Um, other journals have a, a flatter structure with a, an editor-in-chief only uh, who, who manages the distribution of papers to the end reviewers. So there is a code of conduct uh, called the COPS, or the Committee on um, Publishing, and it has a set of best practice guidelines that governs how editors should practice their roles. And that includes describing how an editor is responsible for the journal catering towards authors and readers and reviewers. So the reviewer's job is to read the paper and make a recommendation to the editor about whether the paper should be accepted or not. So the reviewer, it's important to remember the reviewer is not making a decision, the reviewer makes a recommendation to the editor and the editor looks at all of the reviews and looks at the quality of the reviews and makes their decision based on that. Oh, I'm an editor-in-chief and an associate editor to some respect as well, are responsible for the quality and the ethics of the material being published in their journal. I'm going to make an admission here that one of the first things I look at is the references. I scan the references to get a sense of what material are they drawing from. The review themselves looking for a paper that is readable, says something new, interesting, uh, important, and of course that's subjective, that's up to the reviewer to uh, decide how well a paper does on those kind of metrics. When I look at a paper uh, initially as editor-in-chief, prior to distributing it to any senior editor, um, I'm trying to assess whether there's fit, whether there's quality, whether the work is adequately advanced uh, whether there's clarity. The first thing that the Editor-in-Chief does, well the first thing that I do, is check through uh, the paper for plagiarism. So the paper directly goes to a plagiarism engine uh, called Authenticate. Uh, and so the first time I see the paper is through this engine and I uh, I'm really looking to see how much of this has been copied from other work. So I find there are issues that probably arise monthly on these topics, uh, but we have handling editors that run every manuscript through those processes, and it's remarkable how much you find, and then it's up to the editor-in-chief to decide how much is too much in an article. If I feel that the level of copying isn't too bad, that I can accept it, uh, then I will either send that, uh, I will then make a decision on the paper from a desk perspective. So I will really look at the paper and say, is this a paper that I want to publish?